Welcome to Learn to Live Stress-Free. This is Christine Wright with Dr. Robert Wright, Jr. of www.stressfreenow.info. Hi, this is Dr. Bob. I'm here in the beautiful East Coast. It's a little windy here today. And I want to share an, a travel tip with you. And this is about how to keep your stress down while traveling. Uh, I landed in the Azores in Flores Island, and I got there, and my um, transportation wasn't there, even though it was rearranged in, a pan- in, in advance. Also, my cell phone was down to 8%, and because of a little uh, hiccup before I left, the I was not able to print out my itinerary, which I usually do, so it was only accessible on my phone. So my phone's down, and then to add insult to injury, of course, I forgot to bring uh, an adopter. I forgot that the electricity uh, here in the Azores is uh, uh, EU style. So there I was, and I was like, oh my goodness. So the first thing I did was to um, see if I could get a charger. And um, the worst part about not being able to access my phone was that I didn't even know what hotel I was staying in. (laughs) So I started laughing because um, I've had situations like this. And, you know, laughter is a good way to do stress and um, build resiliency. So um, I've seen that work many times for me in the past. So it's a little windy here. So the purpose of, of this video is to encourage you to get out here and travel and to let you know that, you know, stuff happens when you travel. So in any event, uh, how it ended up happening, I found a nice gentleman um, at the airline counter who was able to find me an adopter. And so once my phone got up to 22%, I um, found the phone number to call the travel agency, but I only had the USA number. So every time I started dialing (laughs) the, the United States from the Azores, the phone clicked off. So, fortunately, uh, uh, about a month ago, prior to this, I had been in the Dominican Republic, and while there, I had signed up for um, international calling plan, like $10 extra a day, I could call the United States. So, on my fourth attempt, the phone call went through, and that feature kicked in on my cell phone, and I was, you just imagine how late I was, and on the, the uh, about five seconds later, uh, I was on the phone with the uh, travel agent, and she said to me, uh, hold on, we'll straighten it out, and uh, the issue was the flight did not take off when it was supposed to, it came in an hour and a half later, so of course the driver was not there. In any event, uh, the point is, is that she said to me, she said to me, I'll call you back and I said no 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 don't call me back I'll hold on not knowing whether or not if I um, if I uh, allowed her to call me back whether or not she would actually be able to get me so I didn't want to take that chance and so the point is is that a uh, happy ending of the story um, uh, so I want to encourage you to get out there and travel and know that uh, no matter what you face, you can handle it and figure it out. You know, I don't speak Portuguese, um, but I do speak um, Spanish at the uh, pre-K level. So that is, I found that very helpful. But uh, as much preparation as you can do, uh, do it. So this is Dr. Bob from StressFreeNow.info. Until next time, be safe and be well.